good morning. Glad you joined me this morning, Friday morning's devotion. I'm Don Ritchie. I'm the pastor of Trinity Family Church here. Just want to welcome you in. I'm so glad you're here with me today. We're going to be looking uh, to finish our little series that we've been on, uh, talking about love. Uh, we've been on this for a couple of weeks, uh, just 10 minutes at a time. You know, we're not giving a whole lot of information out, but just little tidbits, little nuggets of God's Word. But you know what we're finding out? It's just like you find out about everything else about God's Word. God's Word has the ability to bring about the greatest changes in your life that you could ever imagine. But see, we have to line up with it. See, we have to uh, we have to appropriate that truth to our life. In other words, we have to be doers of the Word and not just hearers only. And you know the Bible has so much to say about love, but that seems to be one of those uh, topics, you know, that we seem to push aside, you know, not thinking that it's that important, you know, and we uh, we find it easy to talk about other people, you know, when somebody says something negative about somebody, you know, have you ever thought how easy it is for just to just uh, say, yeah, you know, I've noticed that too, and I've also noticed this, you know, and then you say something there, you know, um, it's so easy to do things like that, but see, if you're going to walk in love, you can't do that, you know, we're always looking out for the best of everybody, you know, and in a church family, you know, a church family should want to protect one another. You know, we ought to, man, we ought to just want to protect each other. If somebody ever says something in a negative way about um, one of the members of our church, you know, man, we should come to their defense so quick. And, uh, you know, even if we're guilty of something, we still don't pile on, you know, and just try to make the situation worse. And, uh, my friends, this is very important. If you haven't been a part of this, I encourage you to go back and listen to this these verses that we've talked about. We started actually in verse uh, four and went through verse eight first and talked about those specific things that he talked about, love and how it impacted or affected our lives specifically and how that we needed to, uh, you know, pay close attention to it and uh, uh, get our lives lined up with what it was saying because it was just some specifics there. But I want to go back up to uh, and start in verse one and just really read through verse uh, three today and uh, and just kind of finish this little series out uh, but I, th what we're going to have to talk about this morning what we're going to see is extremely important and just again shows just how important it is that we walk in love at all times and in everything that we're doing always friends walk in love and that means friends even when it's not convenient see and we can do that see and, uh, you know, one verse that we have quoted many, many times over the course of this um, series is that the love of God has been shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit. That's Romans 5 and 5. And the reason we have put that verse out there and talked about it so much is because if somebody says, I just can't love that person, or I've tried to walk in love and I'm just not able to do it. Well, see, friends, if we, if we just was to really be extremely blunt this morning, and speak frankly, well, then that means that, that an individual, if, if a person can't do that, then they're not born again. Because, see, when you're born again, that love, that nature of God comes into you, and with it comes his love, see. So as, well, if God is a part of your nature, then his love, his nature of love is also a part of you. It's not easy on this flesh always, but you can walk in love even around those that it's not easy to love. And as we have said, there are some people that's a little bit more difficult to love than others, you know. Some people are so easy, you know, to love, but others are not, you know, and we all know what that's like. And, uh, but friends, we have the ability to love even those that are not as lovable. But, you know, and the reason we're doing that, friends, we see them by faith through the eyes that God sees them. And friends, God died for all of us. He sent his son, the Lord Jesus, to die for all of us, not just the ones that deserved it or were, or were real lovable, but he sent his son to die for all of us because the Bible says that God, God loved the world so much, <coughs> excuse me, that he gave. So see, that love that was in the Father, thank God, it's in us as well. And we need, to, we need to walk in it. Before we run out of time this morning, let's read in 1 Corinthians chapter 13 in the Amplified Classic. Notice he says, 
If I can speak in the tongues of men and even of angels, but have not love, that reasoning, intentional, spiritual devotion, such as, inspire, as is inspired by God's love, for and in us, I am only a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. Friends, think about that for a minute. He says, if I can speak in the tongues of men and even of angels, but if I don't have love, he says, I'm only a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. Even if you can speak of all the languages of men and of angels, but if it's not in love, totally worthless. Totally worthless. That's how powerful this message is. Verse 2 says, And if I have prophetic powers, listen to this, if I have the gift of interpreting the divine will and purpose, and I understand all the secret truths and mysteries, and if I possess all knowledge, and if I have sufficient faith so that I can remove mountains, but if I don't have the love, God's love in me, if I don't have God's love at work in me, notice what he says, I am nothing. And then it says, a useless nobody. Now, friends, how clearer could the Apostle Paul get right here? How clearer could he get when he says, it doesn't matter if I can, if I have such strong mountain moving faith i mean my faith can move mountains without any problem whatsoever but if i don't have god's love at work in me he says i am nothing i am a useless nobody now friends when we see people that have great faith and they have that they have the kind of faith that can remove a mountain you know they uh, they may have a healing ministry and many people have been you know, you see them getting touched and getting healed by that. But in the long run, see, and, 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 and in God's eyes, see, it's worthless. And it's a total waste of time. He says, I'm nothing, a useless nobody, if I'm doing it outside of the love of God. Verse 3 says, even if I dole out all that I have, if I give every single penny that I have to the poor in providing food, and even if I surrender my body to be burned, or in order that I may get may glory, but if I have not God's love in me, he says, I have gained nothing. You know, some people talk about giving their life, paying the ultimate sacrifice, you know, maybe for someone else. Well, friends, it doesn't matter if you do that. If you give your life to be burned, but if you do it in a way other than through God's love at work in you, I'll tell you again what he says. He says, I have gained nothing. So see, friends, we cannot live productive, Christian, successful, overcoming lives unless we do it in the love of God. See, friends, you've got to remember God's love is in you. It's in you for a purpose. See, I like to think of us because this is the way the Bible teaches us. We are extensions of our Heavenly Father on this earth. He sent His Son to do the work that He did. And then the Bible says in John, John 20 that as the Father has sent me, Jesus said, so now am I sending you. So see, Jesus sent us. He handed the baton off to us, as it were, for us to continue doing the works that He did. Well, friends, one thing that Jesus did was exactly what his father did. He operated in love. So see, if God expected Jesus to walk in love, then friends, you can be certain Jesus expects you and I to walk in love at all times. Friends, this does away with gossiping. This does away with talking about people behind their back. This does away with two people getting together and talking about a third person. See, that that will put, do away with all that kind of stuff. And friends, think how much better we would be as a body of Christ if we get to the place that we simply refuse to talk about one another in a negative way. It's kind of like that phrase, it's not in the Bible, but it's the principle itself is based on it, where it just simply says, if I don't have something good to say about somebody, then I shouldn't say it. Now see, that's good. Now see, that's 
it, that verse is not, that's not said that way in the scripture. I can't give you chapter and verse for that. But that is taught in this 13th chapter of 1 Corinthians. If you and I, if we don't have something positive to say about one another, especially friends, our brothers and sisters in the Lord, this goes for anybody, but especially in the household of faith, we should never say anything about anyone unless it is uplifting them and supporting them. And friends, all we're simply doing is doing unto others as we would have them do unto us. Do you want other brothers and sisters in the church body talking about you? Do you want them pointing out your faults and all the things that you do that are wrong, that they think is wrong? Well, of course, we would never want anybody to do that to us. Well, friends, cannot we extend that same courtesy to everyone else and all, and the only things we're going to say is what will lift them up and build them up and support them, strengthen them and encourage them friends that's what makes for a strong body of believers believers that have this God kind of love for one another and they not only live it but they talk it and they walk it so see friends, the love of God you and I walking in this God kind of love we need it more than we can ever say. I, you know, I barely scratched the surface about speaking about how important that this is. But I trust you understood. Paul says we're nothing. We're absolutely nothing. It doesn't matter what we do as far as our actions. It doesn't matter what we do if we don't do it in love. It's all a waste of time. Praise God. I trust this has helped you. I trust it's made you think a little bit. It has me. It has me. I'll just be honest with you. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk in this, and I'm gonna demand of myself that I am gonna be a man that walks in love amongst my brethren, and even those that may be outside of the body of Christ. I'm gonna walk in love. Can you make that decision for yourself today as well? I trust you can. Praise God. Thank you for joining me this morning. I hope you have a great, great weekend. I'd love to see you Sunday. God bless each and every one of you today.